hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in case you're new please subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell so that every time i post a video you're here to vibe with me so guys it's a new term for those who have been asking me nyako where are the kids nyako are the kids taking porridge eh, you people had ask questions but anyway i think i've been only posting once every three months about the school because of you haters <laughs> but anyway hopefully i will start uh, posting frequently about the school but uh, briefly the school has been doing well thanks to mr frank who has stood by me and uh, he has really made sure that everything is in place with the school guys i don't think that we can do it only me and him we also need your support so i'll be doing live stream some time to come when i get well so that we can really fundraise for other things that i'll be showing you in this video hopefully you get to enjoy the video no much not a lot of talking but um yeah you can get to see how we are doing it and uh, i'll be posting more videos this week about the school the porridge and then the african yako cup so enjoy so guys we are finished buying the flour now I'm going to buy them books, pencils, and other things. Then we get the transportation also. So this is a town. This is how the town looks like early morning on a Monday. It's a busy Monday because everyone is buying school things for their children to go back to school. Even kids at our, at our home are going back to school today. So I don't have someone to hold for me a camera, but I'll try my best to video what I can. So guys, I've already bought. Now I'm waiting for soya powder for mixing in the porridge. Then I can finish. But if they don't bring it now, they will just bring it at the school. But now I cannot wait for so long. Yeah. So I have to go and distribute the books today. Today is the first day of school. Hopefully, I will um put this video up today guys forgive how i'm looking so i've not even washed my face today i just came to town but town is just quiet i think because kids have gone back to school so it's really very you don't want to see it will send it yeah so guys these people are going to go there now follow them i'll get a motorbike then i follow them I'll show you when we are offloading and then uh, another clip of the, um, of the kids getting their things.
Tell them to move away so I to take a nice thing. We're gonna just come back. Okay. Oh, So guys, today these are the kids that are here. It's being the first day, most of them have not reported to school. So these are the ones that are here, about 200 and uh, something yet to confirm. Then yeah, you're going to be giving them these books here. You can see. So look at them here. Thank you, sir. Can I start giving them? Amen, amen. Check. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. 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 So we are going to give them each kid a half a dozen. So one dozen is for two children. One. So each kid, as you can see. Guys, I don't have energy to, to do, but I'm going to join them soon. So, oh my god, these kids are many, but they're just, they just tiny, tiny. And most of them still have the shoes that we gave them last time and others are still barefooted. So I think I'll do a live stream then we can fundraise for the shoes again. Sandals. Like mine here. Yeah. As you can see, some of them don't have shoes. Let me turn the camera and I show you people. Look at them, these tiny people. What do you think? What do you You are a tender one. These kids should be in kindergarten, but because there's no kindergarten in my community, so they come to P1. But they're so young. Look at them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These young people. Those ones I've got, the ones that I've got are going inside the class. This one has been in P1 for so long, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my 
where I took from. And uh, the kids are the ones that bring firewood. The challenge you have there is water, 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 water. So they're organizing, they're washing the cups. Those are the two ladies that prepare the Flower. Torres has something that makes me wonder. They always write that food for human consumption. So they have to tell you that it's for human. <laughs> yeah. That's all this. Let me do some TikTok videos. I need Instagram. So these are food. They are now going to prepare from pictures. This is for pictures. The phone storage is very small, so I cannot video for so long. I have to video small, small, so that I can edit this and post it today, 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 today. Yeah, and then these are beans. Patricia is still. Today, so my sandals got spoiled. Like this. Then I got the one for my brother, the one I've been using. So for him, it's barefoot. So this one, I'll take them and then they mend them to repair them like this. Then we can use them. Here in Africa, we don't throw sandals. We still use them. Anyway, we are finished for today. So tomorrow, I'll show you the porridge bit of it. And yeah, that's it. So the lady mistress um, has requested if there's anyone who can still build for us a bathroom we already built a latrine but we need a bathroom and a changing room because uh when we get space okay? the batteries battery no our battery can still do so, noise. so when we brought pads they are like okay most times these girls goes in they go into their administration period and they don't have where this is a day school so they don't have um, where to change from and bathe. They need a changing room and a bathroom. So we make like a big room and then behind is a bathroom. Then in front is a changing room. So we put their sanitary parts there. And uh, yeah, we can make some like uniform for them to wear during that time. Because most of the girls drop out of school because of their menstruation periods don't have pads they don't like they don't feel comfortable and then boys always make fun of them so if there's anyone this is a request who is willing to do that we can do it yeah we can do it cannot be now but we can do it in october because for now i'm also going to concentrate on other things so i'll be available in two weeks i think in two weeks yeah in two weeks time i'll be available so, but you can start planning and then we raise the funds but for the sandals like this one i will make a live stream then we can do what i'll put the cash up i'll put my friend's cash up there then we can see how we did it last year so you cannot wear this for the whole year it always wears off it wears off as you can see this one is like six months old but it already wore off and i don't wear it every day so imagine for them who wears who wear there every day it can wear off and yeah so let me go home i have to walk up to our home and see you guys i'm sweating but i still have this jumper i can be sweating but still feeling cold at the same time I don't know if anyone knows what that is exactly but that's what is happening with me i'm always drinking this water because i don't want to get typhoid i've been suffering a lot of typhoid these days so it's better buy bottled water that i'm sure of we do boil water at our home and put in the pot but because we have many children like the kids they will come fetch water from the pot with a dirty cup and then they contaminate the water so it's always not safe and being that every time i go to the city and then the life in the city is different from here things like my body is always not well 
If you also come to our village and you're from other places, we always advise you to drink this water. Because the water in the village is not that safe. See you guys in the next video. I think I've spoken too much. Bye.